Well, the st- skeptics and all the people have a little bit of... Let me do this again. No, it's live, pal. Sorry. Hello and welcome to Wrestling Jeopardy, the only interactive pro wrestling trivia challenge where you're the contestant. I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And are you ready to go all in and emerge as the ultimate wrestling trivia champion? I don't know what 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 what, what, what you expect from me. Or will you tap out under the pressure? Ah! And with that, let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on, starting with. Wrestlers' names that begin with the letter X. Followed by Canine Compadres. Dancing with Fandango. The Crockett Cup. And last but certainly not least, Microphone Mishaps. You saw W70 WCW wrestlers. That being said, let's start the show with the 200 point jobber round, the easiest round in wrestling Jeopardy. You should answer all five of these questions correctly, and if you don't, can you really call yourself a wrestling fan? What do you think of Stone Cold? And Vince, man, Cold Stone is my man, he won! All right, so let's kick things off with wrestlers' names that begin with X. Outside of the ring, this member of the New Day is also an accomplished video gamer and host of his own YouTube channel called Up Up Down Down. And the correct answer here, who is Xavier Woods? And that brings us to Canine Compadres for two. Wrestling's current Canine King is without a doubt Pharaoh, the marketing and merchandising machine who is also man's best friend to this American Nightmare wrestler. And after many years by the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes' side at SummerSlam 2024, Pharaoh called it a career. Moving on to Dancing with Fandango for 200. Fandango and Summer Rae once made beautiful music together. That is, until the Dirty Dancer took to this social media platform in April 2014 and abruptly severed their relationship. Talk about a dick move, Dango. You never break up with somebody over Twitter. And we're on to the Crockett Cup for two. The inaugural Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup Tag Team Tournament began in 1986 and was won by this dominant duo who liked to snack on danger and dine on death. Probably the greatest tag team of all time. We're talking about Hawk and Animal, the Legion of Doom, a.k.a. the Road Warriors. The Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup! The Warriors are going to be there, Louisiana! And we're going to take that couple! And let's finish up the 200-point round by having you finish this microphone mishap. But you know and I know that you are only half the man that I am! And I have... Good old Sid, always good for a couple chuckles and a couple of botched microphone promos. The correct answer is... And I have half the brain that you do! Uh, Come after me, Sid. And let's jump back to the beginning of the 400-point round with wrestlers' names that begin with the letter X. There's a term in wrestling known as go-away heat that is rather unfairly designated to this wrestler. And the correct answer here, who is X-Pac? And we're on to Canine Compadres for four. In 1990, Davy Boy Smith broke out on his own for a solo run in the WWF. Well, sort of. He now had this English Bulldog watching his back. Now for you old school wrestling fans, I'm positive you remember Matilda from the British Bulldogs tag team back in the day. However, when Davey went on his solo run in the early 90s, he was accompanied by Winston. Be ready, because British Bulldog and Winston are ready. And moving on to Dancing with Fandango for four. 
On an August 2013 episode of Total Divas, this redhead volunteered to be Fandango's new dance partner, but the results of her audition were disastrous. I guess the one thing that all read everything Eva Marie forgot to put on her resume was that she was a terrible dancer. If you're a dancer, then I'm a freaking astronaut. And that brings us to the Crockett Cup for 400. After a 30-year hiatus, it was announced by Road Warrior Animal during this promotion's 70th anniversary show that the Crockett Cup would return in 2019. And that would be the National Wrestling Alliance, a.k.a. the NWA. And let's finish up the 400-point round by having you finish this microphone mishap. And then fast forward 30 years later, WrestleMania 30. This is top five easily. Microphone botches of all time. Correct answer is... Right here in the Silverdome. Uh. I'm sorry, it is the Superdome, brothers. There you go. All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go, plus the daily double and final Jeopardy. But if you're having a good time... Um, go to... Um, to the, <laughs> go to... Uh, just go ahead and subscribe and click that uh, ringy dingy notification icon bell so you get notified whenever we come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. <laughs> Real good, always making a joke out of everything. All right, let's jump back in to wrestlers' names that begin with the letter X for six. This wrestler entered the world of NXT UK boasting an impressive pedigree as the daughter of British wrestling legend and WWE Performance Center coach Robbie Brookside. And the correct answer here, who is Zaya Brookside? And that brings us to... Canine Compadres for six. Acquired during the height of the Taco Bell Chihuahua craze, this canine compadre was promptly dognapped by the big boss man, murdered, and unfortunately fed back to its owner, Al Snow. You know, the Attitude Era was home to a lot of tasteless uh, storylines, but this one always sticks out to me the most. So basically, after the big boss man dognap Pepper, boss man invited Snow to have dinner at his hotel, and the dinner, as you guessed it, turned out to be Pepper the dog. And we're moving on to Dancing with Fandango for 600. Winner of the 2006 WWE Diva Search, Layla, fit the role of Fandango's dance partner perfectly because she used to be a part of this National Basketball Association franchise's dance troupe. And this is back in the day when Layla took her talents to South Florida and danced for the Miami Heat. And we're on to the Crockett Cup for 600. Held in Nashville, the 2022 tournament saw these multi-time Ring of Honor World Tag Champs prove why most favored them to win as their victory would become one of a handful of final highlights for the brother duo. And unfortunately, the reason why it was one of the final highlights is because Jay Briscoe tragically passed away in early 2023. But the answer here, who were the Briscoe brothers? And let's finish up the 600-point round by having you Fill in the blank from this microphone mishap. From this moment on, this will be the moment starting now. And this is 100% why Curtis Axel was a Paul Heyman guy. Correct answer is... Of the genesis of McGillicuddy. Uh. Jumping back to wrestlers that begin with the letter X for 800. This wrestler hailed from the South Pole, stole presents from children, and claimed to be Santa's twin brother. All 
This is one that I always uh, scratch my head on, and I don't understand why they wouldn't talk about how Santa Claus loved uh, snowballs or Christmas balls because he became Balls Mahoney. Anywho, we're on to Canine Compadres for eight. Described by Stephanie McMahon as the ugliest, smelliest, fattest dog I've ever seen in my life, this pooch was a pawn in the bitter divorce between Triple H and the Billion Dollar Princess. And the correct answer here, who was Lucy McMahon Helmsley? And moving on to Dancing with Dango for eight. On the 2014 Survivor Series pre-show, a new and improved Fandango spiced things up by now dancing this Spanish style with Rosa Mendez. And Fandango was now a Flamenco. I don't know what I'm doing with my fingers here. I should have castanets. He was a flamenco dancer. And that brings us to the Crockett Cup for 800. <laughs> All right, there it is. This week's Daily Double brought to you by the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup. Think about this classic tag team tournament and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the Daily Double Clue from the Crockett Cup. The last Crockett Cup tournament to take place in the 1980s occurred in 1988 with this team defeating Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard in the finals. Now, originally, Lex Luger was going to partner with Barry Windham, and the man called Sting was set to team with Ronnie Garvin. I'm going to get to touch your body. However, Windham turned on Luger just two days before the tournament, and Garvin got injured. Thus, the Stinger and the Total Package formed a winning partnership that would continue off and on for the next 15 years. And let's finish up the 800-point round by having you fill in the blank from this microphone mishap. Another man who's been waiting anxiously with anticipation. Ah uh, yes, the bumbling, stumbling Mike Adamley. The correct answer here. His name is Jeff Harvey. Hardy. Uh. And we've reached the most difficult round of Wrestling Jeopardy, the thousand point round. The steel cage begins to lower. The ominous music begins to play. Get your thinking caps on because it's game time. So let's go to the thousand point clue from wrestlers whose name begins with the letter X. In 2017, this wrestler made history by entering the Mae Young Classic and becoming the first Chinese woman to ever compete in a WWE ring. After impressing talent scouts at a tryout in Shanghai, Xia Li made her debut mere months later, competing in the inaugural tournament where she was eliminated in the first round by Mercedes Martinez. And we're closing out K9 Compadres for a thousand. Rene Dupree's French poodle Fifi was banned from WWE after biting this manager slash valet of Kenzo Suzuki. In 2004, Dupree got drafted to SmackDown and began to walk Fifi to the ring every time he made his entrance. However, an unfortunate backstage incident where Fifi bit the lip of Hiroko led to the poodle getting punted. What are you doing? That's how I roll. And we're moving on to the thousand point clue from Dancing with Fandango. In 2013, hundreds of female dancers answered an open casting call from WWE for a professional dance partner to a debuting superstar at a dance studio in Buffalo, New York, named after this legendary toe tapper. Widely regarded as the greatest popular music dancer of all time, Fred Astaire has a franchise of over 180 dance studio locations in the United States and across the world. 
And we're on to the final clue from the Crockett Cup. On their way to winning the second annual Crockett Cup, the odd couple of Dusty Rhodes and Nikita Koloff, aka the Superpowers, upset this number one seeded tag team in the tournament quarterfinals. Managed by Paul Jones, the awesome twosome of Ravishing Rick Rude and the Raging Bull Manny Fernandez were not only the number one seed at the 87 Crockett Cup, but they were also the reigning NWA World Tag Team Champions. And let's close out the board by having you fill in the blank from this microphone mishap. Long Island, New York, weighing in at 214 pounds. The voice of Lillian Garcia has introduced many of WWE's most historic moments. However, she's also had a few slip-ups in her announcer duties, including the time she introduced Zack Ryder as Jack Swagger. Long Island IZ, Jack Swagger! Uh. Alright, don't go anywhere. I'm here to announce that the final Jeopardy category for this episode is... Hulk Hogan's Rockin' Wrestling. It was the days of the California Raisins, Teddy Ruxpin, and Joe Cola. And in 1985, the WWF was everywhere, including CBS, where Hulk Hogan and others were the stars of their own Saturday morning cartoon show. All right, so think back, if you remember, to waking up and watching this on Saturday mornings, or if you've seen it on the uh, WWE Network or own the DVD, and place your wager now. All right, time is up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. This TV and film actor who famously played Uncle Phil in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was the voice of the Junkyard Dog in all 26 episodes of the animated series. Good luck. Despite having a prominent role in a popular primetime sitcom during the 90s, James Avery was also an accomplished voice actor in the 80s, who in addition to being cast as JYD, voiced characters for other cartoons like the real Ghostbusters and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.